Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now. And this month starts on a new moon and it ends on a new moon. Now, I do want to say, even though the new moon and the full moon mid-month as well, their energies can be particularly intense, especially for you. And they may feel consequential, but the energy changes so much as we move later into the month. And for you, you will be ending this month on a high note, feeling very fulfilled on a level of heart. And for some, it might even feel like in one way or another, metaphorically at least, perhaps literally, for a small percentage out there, it may feel as if you have won the lottery. And I don't say that lightly. So let's take it one at a time. As we start this month, right out of the gate, the 1st of August is when we have this month's new moon. Some of the more notable characteristics of this new moon is that it will happen close in the sky with Venus and also be speaking in a conversation of tension with Uranus. Now it is that connection with Uranus that brings in a surprise factor that can have motivation to it, but also some very strong mixed feelings. And so it can feel like things are changing in some cases very quickly, and you may not be sure how you feel about it. Now this new moon is happening at the very bottom of your sky, the foundation of your chart. And in some way it's gonna feel as if your foundations are changing. For some, this is gonna be your home. So in terms of where you live, uh, the space you live in, buying, selling, new roommate, all of that is covered here. And so again, it is a new moon, which does bring with it new opportunities, but also a new need to make a change. And for some, that change needs to happen very quickly. For others, this could be a sense of needing to make changes on the home front that don't necessarily involve you needing to leave your space, but in some way still do involve some adjustment. For others still, this is going to represent uh, a need to spend more time with your family of origin, your parents in particular. And in so doing, you are able to tap into some of that more uh, Venusian, more loving energy. But yeah, it could be like very quickly, you are either feeling the need uh, that you need to actually spend more time at home. Regardless of what may feel as if it needs to be addressed rather quickly, at the same time though, once we move past that new moon, like literally days past that new moon, the energy starts to get very hopeful and exactly what felt uh, so uncertain as you start the month very quickly gives way to inspiration and greater possibility. As we move to the middle of the month, we are going to have this month's full moon. Now the full moon is going to be taking place at the very top of your sky. This is a part of the sky that has to do with career, social standing, life purpose. And when it's a full moon, it tends to bring with it some sense of fulfillment, perhaps the fulfillment of an important project or a goal. It can also bring with it a recognition of some kind as well. Now here's the thing, this full moon is standing across the sky from Venus and from Mars. Now both of these planets are moving into the later degrees of the sign that they are in. And that suggests that these planets are that much stronger as they are speaking with this full moon. Now what this does say, when we have planets opposite each other is compromise. There is a need to consider another perspective. Sometimes this energy can play out in terms of what is happening with another person, a business partnership, a professional alliance. Uh, there can be, with this energy, a feeling like something needs to be addressed rather quickly. And the reason I say that is not only because of the nature of this particular full moon and the sign that it's in, but the fact that the days leading up to the full moon, we have two planets changing directions. Uh, we are going to have Jupiter going forward, which is exciting, but the same day we are going to have Uranus going retrograde and Uranus is the ruling planet of this full moon. And so what that says is even though Uranus isn't directly speaking with this full moon, that Uranian energy is high at this time. And Uranus, of course, is in your sign. And so what is happening right about now is that much more important to you. It's like you're taking personally what is transpiring 
on a level of these areas that I spoke about, career and life purpose. And as it is that what is developing is speaking to you, it is also redefining you in some way. It is encouraging you to look within and to understand where it is that you're ready for some even deeper changes to take place, where it is you're ready to do some inner work so that you can actually live the authentic life that you desire. And in this case, not only to live it for you, but to have it show up in terms of your career path, in terms of your life purpose journey. So while this energy can bring clarity, it can also bring with it a sense of realization that there are other things that need to be taken into consideration or other people or other people's feelings. Now, for some, I do think that this is going to be a real breakthrough moment where you get honest with yourself about what isn't working and where it is that perhaps you want to let a certain chapter come to a close where it comes to your career path. That can actually end up being quite empowering. Whatever it is that does happen for you, understand that it is you within who has your most powerful answers. With Uranus in your sign, you understand what is true for you, what is right for you. And it's almost uh, instinctual. It isn't always something necessarily that you can understand completely rationally, but when it is that you know it, you have to trust it. And it can feel, again, like things are changing fast in the middle of the month, but they are ultimately changing in a way that brings you peace. That is what you want to watch. If it is that you feel yourself moving towards an inner sense of greater peace, then you know you are on the right track. Now it is late in the month that the energy gets really, really nice. I mean, you start feeling this three weeks in when both Mars and Venus one by one move into fellow earth sign Virgo by the end of the month, at the very end of the month, we are going to have a new moon in this part of the sky speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus. So where's the energy in the earlier parts of the month? That Uranian energy, not easy, right? That Uranian energy felt as if there were changes happening and you didn't quite know what to do with it or where to go with it. By the time we get to the end of the month, things are changing. They're changing quickly, but you feel excited about it. It feels like one lucky break after the other. Now, wherever it is that you need to take a chance or take a risk or even just buy a lottery ticket, uh, in some way you want to do something fun, maybe by the time we get to the end of the month, a spontaneous uh, opportunity to have fun could come up for you. Well, chances are the changes, the results that come are ones that you will like very much. This is really you having a sense of connection to your own instincts and what it is that you really want to do and what it is ultimately that's going to bring you reward. Now that reward can be a very personal thing, but it can be a practical thing as well. But it is at the end of the month that the universe has your back to take a chance, to take a risk and have it go your way. This new moon is also really good for love. So where it comes to matters of love, this new moon speaks to flirtation and romance and what the heart truly desires. Of course, you can desire things in every area of your life. You can be passionate about so many different areas of life. And all of that is covered here. But for many of us, a lot of the ways in which we get in touch with our heart and our passion is through romance, uh, is through love. If you are open to meeting someone new, this is one of the high points this year to feel as if you've connected with someone in a meaningful way. Again, very likely it's going to take you by surprise, take you by delight, but there's so much romantic energy here for you as you finish the month that it could be that love could surprise you. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, this is a beautiful new moon for dating and it can feel as if your connection with this person takes a leap forward very quickly. Now that's going to be the case for most of you. There's a small percentage of you out there that may feel as if this particular energy breaks you free from someone who may not be the right person for you. But if that's the case, if this new moon says anything, it says options. There are options available to you where it comes to love. And for those of you who are in an established bond, this can be a lovely time. This is where you want to have romantic surprises. 
This is where, wherever it is that you're hoping to cultivate the relationship more, or just plan to do something meaningful and fun together, or even just not meaningful, just something that the two of you enjoy. Chances are it'll bring with it delight, but it'll also bond the two of you together. What I love about this month for you, well, it has to be that new moon, right? That new moon at the end of the month, that is the high point. Whereas the earlier parts of the month, it's a lot more practical and it's a lot more personal. It's about you looking at where you've been or in some cases, understanding the past differently, which is part of that new moon as you start the month. And in the middle of the month, of course, that full moon has you very focused on achievement and accomplishment but it is that new moon at the end of the month that restores perspective that reminds you that life and for you and now is meant to be a joy well thank you so much for watching you can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com sign up to be one of my superstars superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes and more all of this in the superstar space i look forward to meeting you there it'll be a great month enjoy